Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about your Google Drive today because I think that there's a lot of confusion and it's so easy for your Google Drive to just explode out of um, out of control and just be complete chaos. And we don't want that because we want you to be able to find things. So I want you to think of your Google Drive like a folder um, that you keep all your work in. Okay, what's great about this folder is that it doesn't really have a limit for you. You guys aren't going to reach the limit of its capacity. How much can it hold? Um, in folders that you have in the classroom, when you open them up, they usually have dividers, right? You might have other folders in that folder to help separate your math assignments from your English assignments, from your science and religion and so on and so forth. That's the same thing for your Google Drive. You want your Google Drive to be organized. I highly recommend that before we even get started on anything in any classroom, even if your teacher didn't ask you to do so, you need to make a folder for each of your classes. You need to make a folder for English, science, math, religion, Spanish, social studies, and PE. Um, sorry if I missed any of them. You need to make a folder for each of those. Now, Google Classroom will automatically make a folder for you. I don't recommend you rely on those folders because they can get really messy and disorganized. It's a lot better if you make your own folders and you put your assignments into there. So let's talk about what I mean by that. Okay, let's take a look. This is actually my own personal Google Drive. So you're going to see um, the different classes here. But you'll see my classes are labeled here. You can even change the color of your folder if you'd like. That's a fun way um, to allow you guys to kind of personalize this. So once you create a folder, to create a new folder, you're going to click up, you're going to click new. Okay. And then it's going to give you a whole bunch of things that you can create. Um, you're going to create a folder. So let's say that you want to make this folder for Spanish. Okay. Um, and then maybe you want to put the school year 2020 slash 2021 okay and that's fine too because of course you're going to be keeping these for a while now that folder i have mine so that it's alphabetically organized so don't be alarmed if you can't find it right away go down in alphabetical order and find it um, so you're going to see the spanish folder here if you do a right click so if you hover over it and then you right click on your trackpad or on your mouse if you have a mouse attached to your device you can go ahead and see a whole new menu here and there's the change color right there where you can change it to any color you want maybe you want it to be green all right the other thing that you can do is if you right click on it um, you should be able to add to start. Now, I highly recommend doing this to your main folders for your subjects because what you can then do is if you come over here to the left-hand side of your page, do you guys see where my cursor is now? Follow my cursor. On the right-hand side of my page, I can click on start. Now, when I do that, it will only bring up the folders that I have start. Okay, or the documents that I have started. That kind of means like they're my favorites. I want to have easy, quick access to them. Um, so I highly recommend you do that for your own personal folders for your subjects. Okay, so again, to create a new folder, you're going to go to new folder, type in the name of the folder, click create. All right then it's going to reload your page for you. You're going to be able to see where it's at, change the color if you want to. You don't have to. Um, if you're working on a device, you can even put little emojis in the name. You can put science and then have like a little science beaker or something like that, little atom symbol, something like that too will always um, help you kind of find them quickly. All right. So try to associate a color, maybe the same color as your textbook, um, the color that you associate with. I associate blue with science because water, you know. Um, so and again, you can right click on it again to please star it, add to start. And you'll see that once it's starred, like our Spanish one here, you can see the star is next to it. So that way, again, when I come over to my left-hand side navigation here, I can click on starred and it will be in there. There's science, there's Spanish and all my other subjects. This is how you're gonna keep organized. I wanna see this. I wanna see that each of you are easily able to go in. If I say, go in and open up your Spanish folder because I need you to get something Mr. Muscle wants me to see. You're easily able to go to your Spanish folder, open it up, and find the things in there. Now, what's great about these folders is that you can click on them, and within a folder, you can have other folders. And I obviously recommend that, especially for English, when we're doing different books. Um, 
you know, have, have your different book folders. So if you're going to read hatchet, make a folder for hatchet and all the things that have to do with hatchet go in that folder. So when I tell you on Google classroom to organize it into your hatchet folder or organize it into your fish in a tree or your tangerine or your, my, of my sin men folder, it, you need to have those folders. You need to make them. So in order to make a folder within a folder, all you really have to do is open up your subject folder. So let's say, for example, you have to, we're going to do U.S. history or your social studies class, okay? You open that up, you open up that folder, and once the folder, the subject folder is open, then you can press new folder, and then maybe type in whatever your unit is. Maybe it's um, Colonial America, and then you press create. Okay. Now, if you don't know what to name the unit, ask your teacher, reach out to your teacher and ask them, say, Hey, I want to organize a folder in my drive. What should I call this unit? All right. And you'll see that it's there. Now here, you don't really have to star anything when it's a folder in a folder. Okay. You want to think of these, like all the pages behind a divider, one of those dividers, right? So guys, let's take a look here. Do I have them? Yes. Okay. So, so this is your Google drive. Okay. This is your whole Google drive. And inside your Google Drive, if I have it the right way, inside your Google Drive, you're going to have tabs, different folders for your different subjects. And within those subjects, you're going to have different assignments. Okay? So please try to keep this organized. This is going to help you immensely because I am going to ask you to find new things or to find assignments and you need to be able to do that pretty quickly. Okay. So right now, stop this video, go to your Google drive and set up folders for every single one of your subjects.